Yo, let's talk about the Bears, because that must be the wildest endgame meltdown I've ever seen. Caleb Williams, Matt, what was that? You've got 13 seconds, a chance to tie, even win. Instead, we just sit there watching Caleb. He's adjusting his sleeves like he's prepping for a photo shoot. Bro, the clock doesn't stop just because you're confused. Snap the ball, make the play, do something. And Matt, man, you're standing there like a spectator. You've got the power to call a timeout. You see your rookie QB isn't getting it done. Instead of stepping in, you just let him choke. That's not coaching. That's negligence. Every kid playing Madden knows to call a timeout there. And this dude is getting paid millions to freeze on the sideline. Embarrassing. The Lions were confused too. They literally stood there like, wait, is this real? Did they just fumble the game without us touching them. Even the Bears' own sideline knew it was a disaster. Players screaming, staff looking lost, and Mr. Matt, stone cold, doing nothing. Fifteen. And instead of snapping the ball, getting into field goal range, he let the clock bleed down to five, then took the snap. Five. What are we doing here? People want to blame just Caleb. Sure, he froze, but that's a rookie mistake. That's where the coach steps in and saves the day. But no. Mr. Matt held on to that timeout like it was a golden ticket. You don't carry timeouts over, my guy. Use it, make the adjustment, give your team a chance to win. Instead, we're sitting here watching the Bears turn into some type of comedy act on national television. This isn't just about clock management, it's about leadership or the lack of it. The Bears drove all the way down the field. And then what? Caleb takes a sack. They waste precious seconds lining up. And instead of taking control, Matt just watches it all implode. Tony Romo was almost speechless in the booth. When Tony Romo doesn't have a word for your incompetence, you did that. And Caleb, man, I don't care if you're a rookie. You gotta have some awareness. Stop looking at the play clock and start looking at the game clock. Everyone could see it. But you. Even the Lions were rooting for you to do something. At least try. Let's be real. This team isn't broken because of one bad play. This is systemic. This is systemic. From George McCaskey at the top down to Mr. Matt and even Caleb in this moment. The Bears are a mess. If you're not ready to step up in clutch situations, what are you even doing in the NFL? Fire Coach Eberflus, reset the front office, and start fresh. Because whatever this was, it ain't football. It's a joke.